I have not seen this movie in a long time, actually. It's been a good three, four years, maybe? The Fault in Our Stars. My aunt is back. Hello. She is the only reason we're watching this because I've seen it already. We talked about originally doing the Divergent series. I don't know if y'all are crazy about that. I guess you can let me know in the comments. I don't remember this movie like that. Let's jump into it, man. Smash that like button. Hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel. To my return of subscribers, welcome back. Full length reaction is on Patreon. It's in the description below as well as my Instagram account and as well as my series channel. Let's do it. I believe we have a choice in this world about how to tell sad stories. The way they do in movies and romance novels. Our beautiful people learn beautiful lessons. Mm. 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 She eats like a bird. She's reading the same book over and over. She's depressed. The booklets and the websites always list depression as a side effect of cancer. It's a side effect of dying. Which is what was happening to me. She looks like she wants that. Mm -hmm. Have you been going to that support group I suggested? Yeah, it's not my thing. Support groups can be a great way for you to connect with people who are, who are, who knows, you might even find it enlightening. Enlightening is crazy. At a time, I felt like I needed to do this too. I'm not gonna lie to you. Do what, kumbaya? No, not that. <laughs> the whole meeting thing. Who wants to share their story with the group? I'm Angel, I have a cute myeloid leukemia. And Patrick? Testicular. <gasps> I'll spare you the gory teeth. Does he still have his balls? No, I don't think so. No. What would you do? What would I do? Not have sex. <laughs> this can happen to anybody. Like, yeah, it's not and, really and something. It does. Yeah. Christ is our friend and he'll be there till the end. Christ. I'm sorry. <laughs> Christ is our friend and he'll be there till the end. I'm going to sing that at school with the kids this week. You cannot make me. Of course we can. We're your parents. You need to go. Mom, if you want me to be a teenager, you don't send me to support group. You gotta, like, give me a fake ID so that I can go to club gimlets and take pot. So is that, like, something considered that teens don't, like, necessarily do? Like, they don't go to support groups? She said it's, like, not normal for a teen or something. Like, so. I wouldn't know either. I, I think mean... it's based on your life, not your age, though. Yeah. She used to play. Oh. Oh, never mind. My bad. It's cute. <laughs> oh, just, just as dorky too. Yep, I meant to run into the door. She played in a, a show called Secret Life of American Teenager. Okay. Absolutely loved it. And I, I was completely in love with her. <laughs> Look at how he's looking at her. Look at those eyes. And she's like, I'm so innocent. Look, 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 look. look. <laughs> you, she's he has like, not, and? He has not broken his And? <laughs> We had surgery on one eye when I was younger, so this is a glass eye, and then I'm going into the hospital to have another surgery to take out the other eye. Um, so after that surgery, I'm just gonna be totally blind. Oh, baby. But I'm lucky, because I have this beautiful smoking hot girlfriend who's way out of my leg, Monica. I have great friends like Augustus Waters, too. You know, helps me out, so. That's a fire name, Augustus, Augustus Waters, though? It's the last name, Waters? Waters. Because he be making them girls, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I had a touch of Austria so come about a year and a half ago. I lost this baby as a result. Mm -hmm. And uh, now I'm part cyborg, which is awesome. Maybe you'd like to share your Sounds fears really with the group. My fears? Oblivion. You see, I intend to live an extraordinary life, to be remembered. So I'd say if I have any fears, it would be to not do that. These mov this movie is based off of a novel as well. Like, okay. usually movies based off a novel are mm -hmm. very highly critically acclaimed, I guess. I just want to say that, you know, there's going to come a time when all of us are dead. There is a time before humans, and there's going to be a time after, and it could be tomorrow, it could be a million years from now. Oblivion's inevitable. And if that scares you, then I suggest you ignore it. Was she so in a hurry to speak last time? Nope. Mm -hmm. No, that was, that was a clap back. That's what that was. Mm -hmm. She had a response for you. I thought we were in a church basement, but apparently we were literally in the heart of Jesus. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's your name? Hazel. And what's your full name? Hazel Grace Lancaster. I haven't seen this movie in so long, I did not remember her name. I remember his, though. Oh, my God. I enjoy looking at beautiful people. Yeah, I... See, I decided a while back. He got that geek riz. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's working, though. <laughs> the geek swag. Always. Always? <laughs> Always Just what? Times this year. Oh, hey, yo. my goodness. Oh, okay. Okay. Extra. They are so extra. I did not expect this first 15 minutes to be funny. Oh, not the six. 
really? it's not weed. That's disgusting. What, do you think that that's cool or something? You just ruined this whole thing. The whole thing? Yes, this whole thing. Even though you had freaking cancer, you're willing to give money to a corporation for the chance to acquire even more cancer? Let me just point? tell you that not being able to breathe sucks. Mm. It totally sucks. So these Hazel Grace, they don't point? actually hurt you unless you light them. Oh, hmm? Okay. I never lit one. You put the thing that does the killing right between your teeth, but you never give it the power to kill you. I remember that. Oh, that's fire. Yeah, I failed my test a couple times. You don't say. Tell me about you. Well, I was 13 when they found it. Pretty much worst case scenario. Ay, poor baby. Oh, oh Lord. Right through the neck. Oh. I hate the idea of cancer. And then one day, my lungs started filling up with water. You can let go, sweetie. <laughs> the idea of being helpless. Doctors trying everything they can, and there's no cure. I, I saw this when it first came out, and this came out in 2014. This was right before Aurelia was born, so I wasn't a father. Mm -hmm. But it hits differently watching the parents go through that. I hope <laughs> I never have to go through something like that, man. Hey. Hostess, hi. New friend? Yeah. What you, what you, what you mean, she new friend? Win? I'd be like, what you mean, new Where friend? Where's she going? Win? Oh, they going downstairs? Yeah. Sit your butt right in this kitchen. Hello. Uh, seriously, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. All right. I would be asking that all the time, too. What's your story? I already told you. I um, was diagnosed when I was 13. No, 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 not your cancer story, your real story. Mm. Your interests, your hobbies, mm -hmm. your passions, your weird fetishes. Who are you really? <laughs> not the weird fetishes. It's a novel. Okay, what's it about? Cancer. Hmm. About cancer? I'm about to say, you're supposed to be reading to escape your life, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But I understand. Is it Grace? Hmm? I love it when you talk medical to me. <laughs> It's Aaron about living, yeah. you know? I would, honestly, the way I would think is like, if I know I'm about to die, I'm about to do the most living I can, to be mm -hmm. honest. I think we should live every day. Regardless. Anybody yeah. could be gone tomorrow. Tomorrow's not promised. Yep, you could be healthy as a horse. Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, the craziest part is I've been there. Yeah, so I put this part today in China. Look at her. She's not even living her best life anymore. She's sad. I like the color. Boom. There we go. This is the dried. Uh-huh. We're very good. I am oh, so he's that Isaac. Friend. And <laughs> Isaac, does support group Hazel? He's like, I don't care. My girlfriend's hot. I do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I, do what I, I want. grab boobies. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Isaac's in the midst of a psychotic uh, episode right now. Hi, Isaac. Hey, Isaac. Uh-oh. <sighs> It seems Isaac and Monica are no longer going to uh, Oh, Isaac, I'm so sorry. Well, I guess I was wrong. He doesn't have the hot girlfriend right now, okay? I'm about to lose my eyesight and she can't handle it. Whew. I've been kissing always to her, you know, like always. And she kept like talking over me and not saying it back. And it's, like... it kind of sucks because like I understand both sides. He shouldn't have to go through that. But at the same time, let's all be honest, mm -hmm. that would be really tough for someone that doesn't understand it. And they're also really young. Like, they're they're going to be thinking, like, I got my whole life to go. And, like, mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying? I, I get both sides. I do. It's mm -hmm. still freaked up. But. I, I, Are you sure? I've been looking for a way to tell my father I kind of hate crazy. basketball. Go to town! Whoa. Oh, wait! Oh. An imperial affliction. You heard what he just said? Always. Always. Yeah, he's pissed. I say, let me see as long as I can see. What if after he was done, he like, okay, now you gotta clean it. <laughs> <laughs> he probably would though. I am grateful to anyone who sets aside the time to read my book. Augustus? Augustus. She may have forwarded that email onto Van Houten. Both for your kind words about an imperial affliction and for taking the time to tell me that the book, and here I quote you directly, meant a great deal to you and your friends. Yeah, she probably idolizes this man. Mm -hmm. You did not, you did not, you did not. That's crazy. Now he gonna be the one filling out some boobs. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically the following. Does Anna's mom marry Dexter Oh, Dexter's not reaching mother? at the same time. Oh, uh -oh. bad people. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do not. Okay. Are they gonna fall asleep on the phone? <laughs> no, it's not that. Okay. Perhaps okay will be our always. I was, I was just gonna say oh. that. That's what I was gonna say. That's what I was gonna say. They kept saying okay back and forth. If you ever you find yourself in Amsterdam, do pay a visit at your leisure. Most well, sincerely, Peter Van Houten. Mom! Hazel, what's wrong? Mom, look at this. No, come here. Come here. That was really sad. Mom All she did was shout, out. yeah. 
I know this stuff. Yeah, I know it's this stuff. scary. That's incredible. He invited us to Amsterdam. Wow. <laughs> Can we go? But we don't have the money. I know you're not putting these. I know you're not blocking no tears out. What is going on? That's I'm sad. sure it can't be easy. All the treatments, even for her to go to counseling, the group counseling, whatnot. I'm sure there's so many expenses, you know, that families go through. Do you did not 13. use your last dying wish to go to Disney World? An Epcot Center. Oh my God. As because it's, I guess it's cliche. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> that's exactly what he yeah. said. Yeah, it's cliche. It is cliche for for a thirteen year old. Of course, you're gonna say you Disney. You didn't go. You didn't go, did you? I, did I've you been to Disney? Disney. I've been to Disneyland, not Disney World. Okay, they're, they're we went different. to Disney and Epcot. How would you like to go on a picnic with me? Um, I I would love to go on a picnic with you. You know, I've been alive for almost thirty years of my entire life, and I've probably been in, in a picnic maybe five times. Such a beautiful day. Yeah. This is where you take all of your romantic hunger. <laughs> what number is she? At least she's Mr. not stupid. Waters. She's not stupid. <laughs> she said, okay, player. Funky Bones by Jop van Lieshout. Cool. That's the kind of stuff that I can never get Savannah off if uh, she get on there. <laughs> <laughs> she on that junk all day long. Like so many before you. And listen, I say this with the utmost of affection. You used your wish moronically. Okay, we did this. <laughs> I was 13. Hush. I am in the midst of a grand soliloquy here. It's a good thing I saved mine. <gasps> you know, I, I too have an interest in... Mm -hmm. He's a goat. Cool. So I talk to the genies, and they're all for it. We leave in a month. OMG. Oh, I got goosebumps. Oh. That's sweet. Mom. Unless... What? Is he your boyfriend? Do not, he is not my boy. Mom, focus, we're talking about Amsterdam. He might He's your be. boyfriend. <laughs> He's your boyfriend. He do, he doing all of that. You are automatically in a relationship. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. But you said that the PET scan was encouraging. Well, the PET scan is encouraging, but we don't know how long I'll stay that way. Okay, I'm not seeking political asylum. It's a few days, it's a vacation. It's true. What if you get sick in a foreign country? I get it and it's hard to argue with it, but it's just like a, YOLO situation. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. You're either going to do it or you're not. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Then something happens. Mm, mm, mm. She can't be anywhere by herself. Terrible timing, oh, man. Exactly. It's like almost proving a doctor's point. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yep. And I know that's running through her, probably running through her brain at the same time. Fluid in the lungs, preventing oxygenation. Fluid in the lungs. They put a tube in. Miss Lancaster, how's she doing? Better. Wait, could you just tell her I was here? Yeah, of course. Of course I will. What we're trying to do is prevent endothelial growth, which, when overexpressed, can contribute to disease, decay, vascular inhibition, and... and she's watching them whole hands. Are they holding her hand? Nope. You can let go. I'm not going to make love anymore. I have a question. Yes, Hazel. Can I still go to Amsterdam? She <laughs> said. You're stage four. This is and the that I may never get again. That's right. You're just too sick. So why don't you just stay here and wait to die? Yeah, you got a point. It's just, dude, like, why? It it reminds why? me of mom. It was in Feb last February. They told her not to travel, to go to Mayo Clinic. And they said she could die. They gave her life. They didn't take her life. They gave her life. She was so good. And she ended up texting uh, me and Bianca, and I still got the screenshot. She said, I'm having such a blast, and I love it here. And, and, she, and she said, I feel like I'm on vacation. I say, go, baby. It's not fair to him. It's not. It's not. He doesn't need this in his life. Could be time we toss you out on the street. <laughs> <laughs> Drop you off at an orphanage somewhere. Make you really do. You need parents like this. I, feel, I always said the people who live the best is the people with the darkest humor. They're really good at coping with things. Exactly. Just... There you go. They have that coping mechanism to pull them through. What's the matter? I don't know. Everything. Is there a reason why we didn't bring tissues? Oh, my bad. Um, I gave you the little rag. What I look like white on my face with a rag? I got well, I don't boogers. Got no tissues, I, have, but... I have boogers. Well, I don't got to know all that. Mm, I like it. 
No. That's why. Yo, what version of the MacBook is that? In case that? you're wondering, that's why I like you, Hazel Grace. If you're just so busy being you, you'll have no idea how utterly unprecedented you are. You can't say stuff like that. Well, that's how I speak to all my friends. Really? Okay. <laughs> I was just thinking, who says that? Some people just talk romantically all the time. They don't even be trying to. Yeah, I knew somebody like that. I married him. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't expect that to come out. He'd say stuff like, sex is like water. It just flows. <laughs> I fell for that crap. <laughs> Kind of makes sense when you think about it. <laughs> ben Houghton's assistant just emailed me and she said that she thinks we're still coming. We're going to Amsterdam. Aww. You're, you're just, we're, we're going to Amsterdam? We figured the whole thing out. Like, we're going. <laughs> Dr. Maria. That's Everybody right, Ma. Yeah, she said mm. freak them doctors. That's right. Come on. We get it. It's I'm very the, risky. But... If it's possible, I'm so glad her parents <laughs> are down for it. <laughs> yes, sir. Here he comes. If that's not the most stylish intro <laughs> ever. I travel in style or I don't travel at all. <laughs> no, they did a really What's good job on this. Jackie, I'm really sorry about that. No, it's totally fine. It's called a cannula. It helps me breathe. Would it help me breathe too? Do you want to try it? <laughs> Tickles. Jesus, bless her. Smoking. OMG, take that thing off your mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, he's scared. Yeah, I'm not laughing at his fear. I'm laughing at the cigarette. <laughs> I know the scary things about being on a plane, but I've never had a fear of a plane. I've been scared of snakes on a plane. Get away from her, you bitch. No, this is low key spoilers. I've never seen alien movies. Are you serious? What? I'm dead serious, yeah. OMG, Brian. Never really? seen any alien movies. My heart, yo, he goes on and on and on and on and on boom. Clactus is gonna kill me on copyright, but it's all right. Okay, what? Hmm. Where? Something sexy? Let's see. I'm about to say, progressive mom. I'm just saying. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. So okay. dad didn't go? Where's dad? Yeah, where is the dad? Maybe maybe he maybe he didn't go. Oh my god, he's like, you a snake. <laughs> By the way, they play in the divergent movies together too. Get out. Yeah. I'm not gonna oh. tell like who and all of that. In case we do wanna watch it, they're gonna let us know. You're not trying to go there? I'm falling in love. <laughs> Man. I guess I have to put that on my bucket list. Do you know what Don Perignon said after he invented champagne? Come quickly, he said. I'm tasting the stars. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy. Ugh. I'm not gonna lie. That huh? does not look appetizing. <laughs> okay. They I'm like saying it. it might be. I like your suit. Thank you. It's the first time I've ever worn it. When I first got sick, they told me I had an 85% chance of being cancer free. Great odds. Yeah. But that meant a year of torture, mm -mm. the loss of my leg, mm -hmm. and still a 15% chance it might fail. So it's your death suit. That's what it is. Ooh. I got it from my Death suit is insane. Ooh. The fact that that's what it's called. So we're on a date? Of course. You better not say no. Okay. This is not friends, okay? <laughs> I mean, it might be, but. He said. <laughs> Might be grabbing boobies later tonight. Yo, we done said boobies at least like six times in this reaction. I'm in love with you. Mm-mm. Is she gonna like that or no? And I know that love is just a shout into the it's void love, and that oblivion she loves is inevitable. It too. And that we're all doomed. This is this, this some notebook stuff, huh? I have not watched a notebook. If I ever watch a oh. notebook, it's gonna be with her. This is my favorite! Vivaldi! Mm, mm, go off. Yeah, yeah. Yo, anybody in the comment section know how to play that? Yo, they be going off. 
This is the day. They got that saying out there that says, never meet your idols. I feel like that's a two-way thing. I say never meet your idols on the bad day. They say like, you, you might be disappointed. You know, sometimes you <laughs> your expectations are all the way up here and like, mm -hmm. they're having a bad Dude, day. They kind of a little bitchy at the moment. You get what I'm saying? You're let down. Yeah. I, I want to know I get it. who's your idol. God. Peter, they're here. Who the hell is they, Levi? Incurably so. Get rid of them. He's in his pajamas. Willem Dafoe. Did I say that right? Willem Dafoe. He told her, told her to get rid of them. That letter obviously wasn't from him. Which of you is Augustus Waters? He literally just got his um, Walk of Fame star too. Oh, Those he... are the first missives to which I replied, McGuire got me. He did reply. You like my book. We love your book. Yeah. We love it. Augustus. <laughs> did you? Just like her on purpose. Both really wanted to thank you for dinner last night and for the champagne. You bought them dinner last night? Was our pleasure. Mm. Ooh. She looked like she did, not she him. She did it all. How familiar are you with Swedish hip hop? Lita Vai, play Bum Lala. I'm wondering if she set that up Swedish. to help him in some way. Swedish hip hop. Let me see what y'all got. Okay. I don't know hey. what they're saying, but it is a bop. Hey, that's like that old school. Uh-huh. <laughs> what what did you what did, did you want a response, sir? Are you are you messing Le with boom, this? Boom, boom. Like, is, is this some sort of performance? Not happy that this didn't come from him. Alright, so at the end of the book, let's Anna's imagine you're racing a tortoise. The tortoise has a tenure. She she can feel she can feel his energy. I wonder if he's gonna go off. Cantor's proof that some infinities are bigger than other infinities. He's giving them answers without giving them answers. Has the cancer found its way into your brain? Peter, can we for one second just focus on Anna? I understand that the story Who ends with that question because she dies. In I am not interested in talking but about that. But that doesn't book. mean that her family and her friends don't have a future, right? I said I'm not interested. But you promised. Nothing happens. Will, will not, not indulge what... your childish whims. I refuse to pity you. Peter, you that's are enough. a a side effect. What did you just say about having a bitchy day? There's nothing that you're gonna tell me about my disease that I don't already know. I don't remember brother man going off like that. I want you to leave. Wow, she came all that way. And he said Yo, nothing. I thought I thought Waters was about to knock I, your shit out. I oh, thought girl. he was too. Ask yourself why you care so much about your silly questions. I'll go fuck yourself. That's Indeed. right. Indeed. There you go. He's feeling guilty for bringing her all that way just for that to happen. As if she not having breathing problems hard enough. Oh my god. Because when you get angry, you get, your breath gets oh. real heavy. So she is the nice one. She's the one. I'm very sorry. I thought meeting you would help him. She's he trying to help that him. His work has shaped real lives. Mm -hmm. But have you been to the Anne Frank house? I'm not going anywhere with that man. No, mm -mm. he's not invited. I ain't gonna lie. Do you got an Instagram, ma'am? Because I just. <laughs> 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 Wow. I've always wanted to, to go here. We have the, the diary of um, Anne Frank somewhere in the house. Come on, baby. You got it. Oh, Lord. And then she got to carry, carry that her too. oxygen. She is tough, man. So this is the actual bookcase that hit the Frank family. Mm. I've always been into like historical, like mm -hmm. like I want to go to these places, these yeah. uh, popular places that people have been. Yeah, I, I want to do stuff like this, so I I gotta travel more. Well, in Mexico, I went to Frida Kahlo's home, Casa mm. Azul. It was hot. It was beautiful. I'd go again. Oh, he is such an uplifting soul. He is. He's like an angel dropped out of the sky. This definitely is a movie. <laughs> Now, it's, it's, I told you, it's, <clears throat> this was different. If you don't like this movie, please let me know why and explain. Because <laughs> y'all y'all be just saying y'all don't like stuff. Explain if you don't like it. She made it, though. That's that, I think that's the very top. Wow. Somebody better carry her down. Somebody crack a window. Try to recapture the happiness within yourself. Think of all the beauty in everything around you. 
I think that's something we all should live by. I'm that dude. Oh, wait, 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 wait. But can y'all do stuff though? Why couldn't they? I'm just talking about the breathing problem, TT. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about the breathing so problem. So what are they supposed to do, hold their breath? Don't have sex. I don't know, if anything, she might breathe better. <laughs> Oh, she says she can't breathe. Told you. You better give her that thing. Slow and steady wins the race. That is a real problem. Like if she can't breathe. Yeah, that would be but terrible. I didn't even think of it that way. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So he's 18. Did you see that? No. I it didn't. said 18 year old dudes with one leg. We just we went to Anne Frank House. It was really awesome. incredible. It was mm. So awesome. And after that, uh, mama, uh, mama, mama. Oh, we, just, we just walked around. Yeah, did a lot of walking. Do you think Hazel and I can just have just like a little time alone? Oh, excuse me. He dismissed mama? I could go for whatever they eating right now. You gonna give me some Mentos after I looked at some French toast. <laughs> That's all we got, dude. So what now? What is it? I felt an ache in my hand. Okay. So I had a PET scan and it lit up like a Christmas tree. Oh, Lord. Lining my chest, my liver, just oh. everywhere. Yeah, when I first heard that, that was insane for oh. a twist. Where my glasses? It is unfair. It just, life just isn't fair. It's not. Like why one person recover and then and the next person doesn't, you know? Hey, listen. Don't you worry about me, Hazel Grace, okay? I'm gonna find a way to hang around here and annoy you for a long time. Are you in pain? No. I'm okay. This is mm. the one movie Look at that, that I think about when I, when I hear Against All Odds. There's that. He's beyond happy. I got my babies back. Imagine how he's been feeling. Mm -hmm. He wasn't Completely sure if he was going to see her again. Worried, I'm sure, about both of them. So how are your eyes, Isaac? They're good. Oh, Lord. They're not in my head is the only problem. See well, there? Um, it appears my entire body's made out of cancer now, so sorry to one up you, dude. Did you, uh, did you write his eulogy yet? Dude. What? What? Did this thing I know? haven't told you yet, Isaac. Oh, my God. What are you talking about? Oh. Sorry. I need speakers at my funeral, so I was hoping that you and Isaac be kind enough to whip something up. I would love to do that. It's crazy that this is this is a normal conversation for yeah, them right now. Yeah, exactly. And our brains can't fathom this. Yeah. But you know what? I think more of us should think of that. It makes it easier. Right there? It's there. Mm -hmm. Is Monica in there? It doesn't matter where Monica is. Okay. It's not about Monica. I just feel like she's going to be... Who cares? She probably was somebody else by now. Oh, geez. Egg that house up. Yes, sir. Go get the egg. Go get the egg. Where did you throw it? I didn't hear anything. Just where do throw, I throw this? Throw part? hard. Just yes. Throw. Yes. yes. Yeah. Why no, not? exactly where to line it up. Oh, no, so run. Oh. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Are you Monica's mother? I am. Your daughter, she's done a great injustice. So we've come here seeking revenge. If I were you... Move out the way, huh? You got me. You don't even know. Uh... Augustus. Hazel Grace. Oh my god, hi, hi. I love you. Oh my god. I'm at the gas station. Or what? Some, something is wrong. Can you come and help me? Mmm. Oh, my belly. Mmm. Got it. Uh-oh. Babe, hey, what's going on? Look. What the? Oh. I wanted to buy cigarettes. He want to smoke them? my pack. You know, I wanted to do it myself. Exactly. Oh, man. I wish I could say that Augustus Waters kept his sense of humor till the end. Did his courage waver? Oh, man. She had to call. He said he'll never forgive her. Yeah. She had to call. Sometimes you have to make that hard. I'm so stupid. You're not stupid, Augustus, baby. <sighs> if you've been around the channel, you know mm. that when I get emotional, I get really quiet. So I have not been saying nothing. Mm, mm, mm. I just don't know what to say. Oh, gosh. Who is the... 
Oh, is that the... His mom? Is that his mom? I think so. It might be. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is. It is. But the thing is, he already had said, write my obituary. His heart. What about the chemo? They're going to stop the chemo. Oh, God. A lot of times they say the chemo is what kills. Tell him you were here. Yeah. She can't see him? I'm, pro I'm just going to... That's her way of probably telling her you probably shouldn't see him. Aww. Should never watch your child die. There's not a single reason that that should ever happen, but it does, so. Hey! He made it! All right. There he is. Beautiful. It's so good that they made that trip together. The what are you thinking about? Oblivion. You know, I always thought I would be a hero. I but he I is. A grand story to tell. He is a hero. You know this obsession you have with being remembered? Don't get mad. I am mad. I'm mad because I think you're special. And is that uh, not enough? You think that the only way to lead a meaningful life is for everyone to remember you, for everyone to love you. And if that's not enough for you, then I'm sorry, but it's not nothing. Even if one person remembers you, I feel like that's enough. Some people are so, so challenged and I would say evil in this world that nobody even wants to remember you. Mm. So take that in consideration. One of the less bullshitty conventions is the convention known as the Last Good Day. Who? The Last Good Day. At least that's what I heard. Good evening, Hazel Grace. Hmm. Do you think you could find your way down to the literal heart of Jesus in the next few minutes? Maybe. Is everything okay? I love you, Hazel Grace. Where are you going? Where are you going? I have to go. Hazel, you have to be hungry. You didn't even eat lunch. I'm just not hungry. Have a little Hazel, salad you can't, or you something. Not I'm aggressively eat. unhungry. Hazel, then you've got to stay healthy. Stay healthy? Okay, I'm not healthy and I'm gonna die. Do you realize oh. that I'm dying and you're gonna be here and you're not gonna have anyone to look after or hover around and you're not gonna be a mother anymore and I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do about that. So what? can I please go? Why would you say that? Because you because said, you said it. that. That, oh! What are you talking about? In the ICU. Mmm. <gasps> oh. It's not the truth. I was wrong. Even if you die. When? Mm. Well, we're all die. We're all gonna die, hon. Always be your mother. Mm -hmm. It's the greatest thing we'll ever be. Losing you? That is gonna hurt like hell. It's possible to live with pain. Mm, mm, mm. <gasps> it's the best news. Ah, you go. Those are some strong parents, man. Yeah, those are the ones that take their experience and then they help others. That's a beautiful strength. Hmm. You're late. If you don't got no friends like this, you don't need them, bro. I'm hopeful that I'll be able to attend as a ghost, but <laughs> I'm gonna tell those scientists to piss off because because Gus, I don't even want to see a world without you. Aww. Oh my god! If it doesn't burn, oh my god! I don't want to see a world without Augustus Waters. Hmm. Godspeed. It's down to you, Hazel Grace. All right, Hazel Grace, what you got, girl? <laughs> Ours is an epic love story. I probably won't be able to get more than a sentence out without disappearing into a puddle of tears. Like all real love stories, ours will die with us, as it should. I'm not gonna talk about our love story because I can't. I'm gonna talk about math. <laughs> My favorite subject. There are infinite numbers between zero and one. There is a bigger infinite set of numbers between zero and two. Some infinities are simply bigger than other infinities. A writer that we used to like to ask them. He did say that. The, mm -hmm. the Peter dude, he did say something about that. Mm -hmm. I cannot tell you how thankful I am for our little infinity. <laughs> you gave me it forever within the numbered days. I am, I am eternally grateful. Now she got me thinking, how long has it been? Just a couple of weeks? A couple of months? Maybe months. A couple of months. I know we're talking about a movie. So sweet when it's real. It's real somewhere with somebody or has been real. No, I guess his waters died eight days later in the ICU. Oh, Jesus. And the cancer, which was made of him, stopped his heart. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Every time one of y'all say that y'all life is tough, watch this movie. It's a movie, but I certainly can relate. Oh. That got me thinking about uh, Todd, my cousin. I think he was like 21. He, he wasn't even old. The nurse asked me to rate the pain. Though I couldn't speak, I held up nine fingers. Later, when I started feeling better, the nurse came in and she called me a fighter. You know how I know, she said? You called a 10 and nine. <laughs> the 
The reason I called it a nine was because I was saving my 10. Oh, yep. I figured she'd say that. That's a whole 10. That really has me thinking now. I wonder if I've ever had a 10. It's been high, but uh, I don't know. Losing my mommy was a 10. Wow. And his strength. What a load of shit, huh, kid? Oh, he's there! She looks like she want, like she want to punch him in the face. I don't remember this. I don't uh, remember this at all. Not him saying we got a fake prey now. <laughs> oh, God. I lost it. It's down there. Oh, God. I want to hear what she has to say. Oh, I'm sorry, Mama. I didn't believe a word, but that's okay. I knew this was the right thing to do. I'll see you soon. Drive safe. At moments like this is when it hits the most. When you're in when the you're car alone. Yep. I'm this She's like, what, asshole? And he's still drinking. You don't want an explanation? No, I don't. Thank you. Have a great life. Ooh. You remind me of her. My daughter was eight. Oh. Eight is crazy. She had leukemia like That's why he drinks. Very sorry for your loss. And I'm sorry for yours. I'm sorry for ruining your trip. <laughs> Hazel, I'm, I'm trying to explain something to you. I'm trying to give you what you no, wanted. No, you're not. You are a drunk and you're a failure and I need you to get out of my car right now so that I can go home. You saw him pull something out? Yes. You want to read this? Ooh, ooh. Read it. Can you just get out of my car? I mean, you can't blame her per no. se. No, you can't. I want to hear this song again. Like, I'm feeling this song. This song? Oh, yeah. Can y'all let her know what the song is in the comments? Please she checks tell out. me. It was a privilege, though, wasn't it? To love him. Mm. Hazel, is a friend here to see you? I was going to say, I knew it was him. Yeah, yeah the I, dude. Yeah, yeah. him. And I, I didn't, I didn't remember it. I just felt I like figured, it was. I figured, who else could it be? Yeah. Gus really loved you, you know? You know what's the craziest part about all of this? If she was able to beat it completely, right? Didn't matter who she found in her life, it would never amount to what she had. Never. Ever. ever. Never. That light just choked me. You, never. He said he came all this way to give that letter to you. Apparently Gus wrote something down and then sent it to Ben Howe. Oh my god. Did she rip it up? I'm a good person, but a shitty writer. You're a shitty person, but a good writer. <laughs> Please fix this for me. It's a eulogy for Hazel. She asked me to write one, and I'm trying. I, I just We all want to be remembered. But Hazel's different. Maybe she wasn't loved widely, but she was loved deeply. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'd rather be loved deeply. I'm not gonna lie to you. She was in the ICU, and I snuck in for 10 minutes, and I sat with her before I got caught. Oh, was he saying he knew from the beginning when he... When she was in the ICU. You don't get tired of looking at her. You never worry if she's smarter than you because you know she is. <laughs> I don't know if it was the imagery or not, but this this scene was so beautifully shot, man. Okay, Hazel Grace. Okay. Now you gonna remember that, okay? Every time somebody talks about this movie, now you're gonna remember that. Oh. I don't have a single gripe about this movie, man. Beautiful. This movie was incredible. Okay. That was a lot. Just live a little bit, man. It didn't stop him from living. It didn't stop mm -hmm. them from going on the trip. And then it stopped them from gaining that one friend. What's your feelings about this movie? I still have the butterflies in my stomach. I feel like I've been on a roller coaster. It was a beautiful ride. I think if I got anything out of this, live. You know what I'm saying? Live. We don't know what our last good day is. Maybe things aren't as bad as they seem. Hey, oh. I'm gonna tell y'all one thing, and I don't wanna get, I don't want nobody getting emotional when I say this. Y'all are one of the best things I have in my life right now. Y'all are some of the best people I have in my life. What, what resonated with me in this movie is her saying, you're so built on everybody remembering you. Mm -hmm. I don't need all y'all to remember me when I'm gone, but I touched a few of y'all and that's all I care about. You touched them and they touched you. It makes me proud. I appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. As always, I want to see how I'm going to edit that part where she lost the headphone. <laughs> That's going to be super fun. Oh, that to was do. crazy. That's that insane. was crazy. She said, I lost it. I said, Yeah, me too. No, <laughs> I lost it. I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys have a great day or night, wherever you are. Stay love and stay blessed.